Wow, this is beautiful Istanbul at Topokapi Palace. Check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to another traveling solo log. Yes, this is solo. And right now I'm in uh, Topakapi Palace in Istanbul, Turkey. And actually right now it's a museum. So the reason it's called Topakapi Palace was this palace was the Sultan's Palace from the late 1400s till the mid 1800s. And Sultan Mahmud, which was the conqueror, that was the first Ottoman uh, Sultan that came to Constantinople at that time and he took over this land from the Byzantines. He's the one who wanted to construct this palace. Now as I said it's a museum. It's like a, I want to say a Turkish National Museum. So if you ever come to Istanbul, it's well worth it to take a visit over here. There's a lot of cool artifacts inside of here, such as like old Ottoman swords. There's uh, artifacts from the religion of Islam. They have a lot of like stuff from the Prophet, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad. And they just have cool artifacts just in general. So, uh, and also a lot of history as well, just about the Sultans and about the Ottoman Empire. So that being said, I just want to show you around this beautiful palace. And to get inside of here, you're going to have to buy a ticket, which costs 100 Turkish Liras. And let me bring out the ticket and show you. So this is the ticket over here. It's beautiful. This is the whole palace on the ticket, you can see. So it's 100 Turkish Liras to get inside. And it's for one entry and you can tell i really maintain this place so they have a courtyard over here and they even have a courtyard outside of the palace before you even enter which i'll show you probably at the end of the video so it's beautiful they have different like this palace is massive different rooms so in the rooms over here they have like different artifacts and then they also just like try to show you how it was back in the day when the sultans lived here and then on my left over here where i'm recording this is where the haram is so the sultans would have their own haram and this is where like the women of his family would stay in this area and th this you actually have to buy a separate ticket which costs 70 turkish liras but today i'm not going to show you that i'm going to show you this main topokapi palace place uh, and just you know i'm loving the day it's nice it's a little bit cloudy good weather so yeah you tell they really maintain this area a lot of birds here too So some of the rooms, they don't allow you to record. So I'm gonna try to record as much possible of this area just to give you a feel. So if you can't record everything, I'm sorry. Just because that's just how it is because they want it. I guess they want some stuff to not to be recorded, which I respect. So let's go towards the main area, I guess the main road. Where should I start? This is one of the entrances. So we're in the main entrance already, but you know this is a palace so so many beautiful places it's cool how they still kept the palace and now they just have it as a museum see everyone has to wear masks of COVID-19 let's go left show you on the left I'm gonna have to be more discreet about recording so I'm gonna have to take off my GoPro off of its tripod and then just use my GoPro I think it'd be more discreet and go inside more places and record to show you okay so I got my camera off the tripod so let's walk that way we're gonna walk inside one of the rooms of the palace. No photos, okay, that's a picture. It's okay. Wow. So this is one of the rooms in the palace. And I'll show you what they used to do in this room. Okay, so this is the Imperial Council Hall. So Anytime when they had to have a meeting with, to get counsel, this is where they'd be. Wow, just look at, look at this architecture, how amazing it is. Okay, so one place I was allowed to record in, other place I was not. So you can tell it's a little bit hard to record over here. But I just have to be a little bit more discreet than I was already. There's a lot of tour groups here too. Okay, so the room behind me is where they have all the Ottoman Empire weaponry. So I'm gonna have to just put my camera down, pretend I'm not recording, and then in the middle, just record, but I can't say anything. Can I take picture? No.
Okay, so that, that I did record some of it. I don't know how the footage was gonna be. I was kind of annoyed because one of the guys like saw me recording and he, he didn't even work there. It was like not even a security guy, but he just was like, hey, stop recording. It's annoying sometimes, but it's okay. This is what happens when you try to record stuff for you guys. So please hit that like button, also subscribe. You know, I do it for you guys. So check this out. One of the other main entrances. Such a beautiful palace. I wonder how it must be to live here. Okay. Let's see. Let's go inside this room. See how it is. The audience hall. So this room, I guess, was the audience hall. Audience hall was built in the 15th century at the palace. And the Sultan officially received state officials. The hall's current form took a shape in the 16th century okay so this is where the sultan would have uh people come from other countries and just talk to him then i heard this is a water fountain that when they used to have meetings just to not let people hear they would turn on the water faucet and then water would just keep on flowing so it's hard to hear from the outside because they don't want other people listening in on their meetings check it out like one of the thrones. So nice. Okay, and you can see over here is another courtyard area. It's amazing how many courtyards they have over here. They have multiple courtyards in the palace. Uh, how do you think it must have been back in that time? Okay, let's carry on. See some other neat parts of the palace. Okay, here's another room we can go inside of. Wow, can you imagine that such a strong empire? And this is their headquarters where the Sultan was. This is the main place where the Sultan would be. It's so amazing history the Ottoman Empire has. Let's see. Check this room out. Let's see what's up with this room. Sultan third inscription panel written by Sultan Ahmed the third. So oh, this would be their library, I'm guessing. It's cool, it looks like a real man reading the Quran or reading a different book. That looks so real, doesn't it? Wow, the architecture here is so beautiful. I don't know. You see, uh, they renovate this pretty often, I heard. So, like, usually if you visit the palace, there might be some areas where I'm showing right now that you haven't been or that you can't go because you see, for example, that area before. I heard you could actually go there, but right now they're renovating it. So, anytime you visit the palace, there's going to be certain areas where they're just renovating it. But just stick with me because there's actually a beautiful view from the palace. You know, this is the palace, so obviously it's going to have some great views of Istanbul. Okay, I'm just going to show you the room where all the artifacts are, all the Islamic artifacts of was like the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and just other well-known uh, biblical people such as like uh, Moses, such as David. They have, I saw, they have David's sword, they have Moses' staff, and yeah, they have a lot of cool artifacts, but unfortunately, they don't let people to record. And this room is like highly, it has high security, so it's hard to record inside. I'll just show you. This is the outside of the room. So if you ever go inside of this room, they have amazing Islamic artifacts. Even they have like, uh, if you guys know the Kaaba, the Kaaba is like uh, the place where Muslims go to make Hajj. They even have like the, the door, the locks of the Kaaba inside of here. So they have amazing artifacts. 
Even they have, uh, what else do they have? They have the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, swords, they have some clothes. It's amazing inside of this room. You can see like the outside of the room, they decorated it to make it look very nice. Even out of respect, out of respect of this room just because it has holy heart effects, that people have to wear these kind of stuff just to get inside of the room. Wow. So like if you're wearing too short of clothing or something, just out of respect just for this room, they give you clothes that you can just wear on top of your clothes. Like if you're wearing too short of a shorts or just, I don't know. It's amazing. So the room goes from that way all the way to the, like the left a bit and then it goes all the way around to the right. That's the exit. I would love to record inside, but it's out of respect. So if you want to, everyone go to Topakapi Palace, it's a beautiful palace that has amazing artifacts. So let's go this way, go towards the left. Let's give you an idea real quick of this courtyard. And I heard the reason why they spread out this like palace and they have multiple courtyards is like if ever somebody wants to attack them, you know, they're pretty spread out. It's not like everyone is in one building, you know, and these courtyards are pretty big. So that's smart how they planned it out. And plus, if you're the Sultan, you know, you're a ruler of a big nation such as the Ottoman. So you're going to have a beautiful place. Okay, let's go up to the amazing views. Before we see the amazing views, let's see some of these more. Let's check out more of these rooms. Wow, the architecture. So beautiful. What room is this? This is the urine kiosk was in honor of a Sultan Murad fifth victory at the city. Let's check it out. Wow. Beautiful room, just like chilling. Nice. Let's see. Cool couch, right? You can sit down on it and you can lay on it. Nice and big. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna check out beautiful Istanbul. This is one of the things I wanted to show you in the palace, the views of the city. And they have other beautiful views too. This is just one area, which the views are amazing. Check it out. So you can see uh, right in front of us, we have the Phosphorus, and then you see there's a nice uh, part of the other area of Istanbul that's connected to the bridge. I showed you the area that's near uh, Taksim area, it's the call street that would be right over there, and that's the Galata Tower that I showed you. I hope you can see in the video I'm recording right now. And then also, you can see down below just a lot of dirt area. I'm not sure what they used to use this for, but it's pretty, so I guess it's under, yeah, it looks like it's actually under renovation right now. But oh, wow, such an amazing view. I'm gonna get another view of the city. There we go. Check it out. Beautiful and simple. Okay, let's walk this way. See more of the palace. Go in this room, let's see what's happening here. Oh, oh okay, get it. See, no strollers and no smoking. Okay. I can record in here. So this is the place actually where they'd give uh, circumcisions. So when they when they circumcise the little kids, this is where they would clean them and wash them, do the operation. All right, you'd see over here, right over here, they have multiple areas where they could do it. Well, isn't that interesting? A whole room just to circumcise a kid. Wow, look at the walls. 
amazing. How much time must have took for them to paint it or just to even get the pattern like this? You have to put each tile in the right place. Okay. Go straight ahead. Let's go. Okay, let's check out this room. Wow, look at the throne. Amazing. Oh, this is the throne of Sultan Mahmoud. The throne is made by Charles Joseph from France. It's cool. So the French actually gave him as a gift. Wow, check this out. Another beautiful scene of Istanbul. Okay, so now I'm gonna carry on and go to the opposite side, show you real quick, and then finish the video. Please hit that like button, also subscribe if you haven't already. I know I said it a few times, but you know, I'm trying to get more subscribers and also help me out a lot. So let's go to the opposite end and then see more beautiful views, a little bit more of this palace. Seems good. Okay. Check this out. Look at these animals, tigers, lion. So I guess this is where they used to walk the lions around. The lion area. Walk your lion around. Because you know if you're a sultan, why not have an exotic animal? Now I'm just playing, I don't know what it's about. <coughs> That'd be funny too if this was the lion area where they just walked their own lions. Okay, you know what this kind of reminds me of? Like I know it's totally opposite ends of the world. It kind of reminds me when I went to uh, the Imperial Palace in Japan. Because you could visit a lot of older like Japanese palaces. The structure with like all the gardens and just empty spaces like such, not empty, I would say like open spaces. Kind of reminds me when I went to some of the Imperial Palaces in Japan. Which unfortunately I didn't record because I wasn't doing YouTube at that time but I will show you in the future because I love Japan. I'll probably go there in the future. Such a massive place. Can, can you imagine living here? Okay, let's see what else. Some back door entrance. And obviously over the years, you can just tell they upkept it pretty well. Wow, check this out, another amazing view. The views just keep on getting better and better in Turkey, right? Look at the Bosphorus. Check it out. This is beautiful Istanbul. You see uh, down below there's a lot of ferries and boats and the ferries take you to like different parts of Istanbul So we got the Asian side actually across from us and then we have uh, just like they have the Princess Islands that's somewhere around that area So if you go on, if you go to Istanbul, there's a lot of ferries that can take you to many places This area is really crowded You see also down below if you're like thirsty or you want to eat something they have actually a cafe right here down below Actually, I just drank some tea at which was the price is a little bit high because you know, it's a touristic area But the scenery is very beautiful. So I guess you're really just paying for the scenery They have desserts here as well. So something to know Okay. Oh, look at the architecture. Getting close, so you can see. 
Oh, amazing. So now you've pretty much seen the palace. So now I'm just going to exit to the exit area and then finish the video over there. So I'll show you how the outside courtyard look like in the palace and I'll finish. Okay, so this is the main entrance of Topokapi Palace. The outer entrance you could call it. On the right is a fountain where you can just wash your hands and wash your face. And on the left of me is beautiful Hagia Sophia. So if you ever do come to Istanbul, Turkey, I advise you come to Topokapi Palace. It's beautiful. It has a lot of stuff of the Ottoman Empire, a lot of history. You can see where the Ottomans, like the Sultans, used to live. And I hope I showed you enough of it that you have a great, great idea of the place. So please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.